What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be installing two Max Air fans. Stick around, I'll show you how it's done. Before we start cutting holes in the roof, the first thing I like to do when installing the Max Air fans is to wash the whole exterior of the van. It's important to have a nice clean surface when we glue down the flange for the fan. So before I get started, I'm gonna clean the whole van. The size of the bed here really doesn't make too much of a difference. We're just making this hole so we know where the center point is up there on the top. I find the easiest thing to make the cut on the roof is the jigsaw. Instead of taping off the whole roof so the jigsaw doesn't damage the, the paint on the roof, what I actually do is just glue a little bit of this carpet on top of it, and it peels off afterwards. It just protects the roof while you're running your jigsaw along the paint. You can see it's nice and soft here now. When I run this over the roof, it won't damage the paint. This will peel off later too. But I'll let that dry for a little bit while I'm uh, marking off the roof. It helps if you've already installed the ladder when you're doing this job. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link for that video in the description down below. Also helps to have one of these for your knees. Okay, so here's the hole we drilled, and we need basically a square, 14 and an eighth by 14 and an eighth. It can go up to 14 and a quarter. So, we'll measure each direction from this hole, seven and a sixteenth, make a mark, and then we'll make a square with the blue tape there. Double check your measurements. So these are the metal cutting blades I use for the jigsaw. And uh, you definitely want to use brand new blades for this. Don't try and use an old blade. So I'll put a link for these in the description below. These are uh, made for this purpose. Now we're all set up. Next thing I need to do is just drill a hole big enough for my jigsaw blade to fit through in one of the corners. Or you can do all four corners. pretty committed to putting in a fan now. Before I do anything else, I'm going to get my leaf blower and just blow off all these little metal shavings before I do anything else. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process again for the front and uh, we'll measure the center between these two beams here drill a hole and we'll transfer that up top. This time just to save myself a little trouble with the metal shavings, I'm going to tape up this plastic over the hole. Before you get too far along you can take the um, flange and just test fit it, make sure it fits. Just to be extra cautious, I went ahead and put a brand new blade on this, even though I just put a new blade for the last cut. Next, we're gonna cut, cut a few pieces of the one by threes. So we have something to screw into to back this up. And it's also gonna help us a lot down the line when we go to put our ceiling up so we have something to build out to make the ceiling level. So we're gonna have 
two pieces at 19 and then two at 14 plus for the back as well. So a total of four pieces at 19 and four at 14. Whenever you can avoid using these knots, it's a good idea. I've got one thing at Home Depot, the butyl tape. So I'm gonna make a quick trip. Okay, so this is the stuff I forgot, the butyl tape. I'll put a link in the description for that. Buy it on Amazon so you don't forget like I did. And um, here's the flange that goes in first. And you can see the screws. There's two screws on each side. Make sure you put it in with the screws on the side, not front to back. So it goes in like this. Before it goes in, flip it upside down, put the butyl tape over it. So that's all you're looking for, single layer. On the front here is easy because it's a nice flat surface if you put the fan right here. In the back we're going to need to do something a little different. I'll show you that later. Screws on the outside. Get that in place. Now, going to pre-drill a few of the holes. So I chose a narrower bit for this job here so that the screw still has something to bite into. All right, so as I was saying before my battery died on the GoPro, I've got four of these screws with the white paint. Put those aside. Those are for the inside when you're done with the finished ceiling. We've got uh, 16 of these long stainless ones. Those are the ones we're gonna use right now. And then four of these, which are gonna go connect the fan to the flange afterwards. Four of these, like shorter, thicker ones. Set those aside as well. Got all the holes pre drilled. Just gotta hold it on the first two screws, and then you should be able to drive them all in. star pattern driving these in okay it's all screwed in now so now you can just kind of go around and clear off any of this extra butyl tape that squeezed out I'm just gonna tape it off with some blue tape and seal it off with marine sealant I'll put a link for this as well. You can also use a lap sealant for this, but honestly, I'd recommend the marine sealant because the lap sealant just makes a mess. It's self-leveling, so it just kind of drips all over the place. Whereas the marine sealant, it's a little bit thicker, and if you put gloves on, you can kind of put it exactly where you want it with your finger. And uh, in addition with the, the uh, blue tape, I used to use the lap sealant, but I think the marine sealant's better now. So here in the back, because of these grooves, we need to put one layer on the flange and then two layers on these bottom pieces here. I get all the screws in, I'm gonna come back with a little extra of the butyl tape and stuff it in these gaps here, if there are any. So it's kind of like a two-part seal. The butyl tape is sealing it a little bit, and then the marine sealant over the top will 100% seal it. Okay, finally everything's taped off. Now I can seal it off with the marine sealant. I'll do uh, both the front and the back at the same time. Now 
how we need to cover every screw. Too bad. Couple drips here. There we go. These are screws you definitely want to put in by hand. Don't use a drill for this. Because it can be a bit of a bitch to get in there. I'm not gonna tighten that one all the way down until I get the other three in. So you have to kind of start it at an angle like that sometimes to get it in there and then it it kind of sucks the fan down and it'll straighten out. So that's it. Once you have those four screws in, it's pretty much done. You can pull this off. And it's finished. Same with that one. Okay, so you're just gonna be left with these two flanges which you're just gonna have to save until you finish your ceiling. Then these get cut down the size and screwed in like that. And also two remotes, and then the four screws that are gonna go in here that are painted white. So those are just have to save until you finish the ceiling. That's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm always happy to answer them. There's a lot more to come, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Bye.